Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Plinko Panic, a roguelike board building pachinko roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. Strange that there are three pachinko roguelikes, even stranger that they all seem completely different from each other. This was a game jam game like a year ago came to steam in december last year uh developer sent me an email recently and now we're checking it out now uh, a strange cycle but in we go i'm curious what a board builder roguelike looks like i've also been informed that there's apparently like auto chess style mechanics to an extent uh level select sure caves one why not I do think, let's check the how to play here first. Buy a pinball from the shop at the end of every turn. Each pinball has a different effect. In the shop, you'll see these three colors on the pinballs. Green to heal you, red to deal damage, yellow to give you money. You can lock one in the shop a turn if you right click. Great. So now, all right. Okay, so we actually, we do drop it in here. Uh, I don't know what is special about this ball here. You will take three damage in two turns. I'm going to assume that hitting these bumpers is going to be what does damage. One, two, three. Okay. So does that do damage equal to the amount there? No, that's how much money we get. Okay. Basic pinball gives you a dollar for every peg hit. Gives you a dollar for every peg hit. Gives a dollar for every other peg hit. An extra dollar for... Okay, so it's saying, like, it gives you a, a, a dollar for every peg, and then it gives you an extra dollar for every other. Gotcha. Do we get to pick Candy Cane Pinball? Deals one damage per default peg hit. Heals one health for every red peg hit. Okay, so how do we buy, like, different pins? We also have the shop upgrades. Okay, so this is sort of like the auto chess style mechanics here to an extent. Gives nothing but paints every peg hit yellow. I guess let's buy that. Okay, so we cannot, we can only buy one thing. So we should have utilized the lock. I, I was not aware that we could not buy two. I suppose we could have pieced it together, though, to an extent. Okay, so we're about to, we, we took a little bit of damage, but we didn't have damage yet. Uh, deals damage equal to your shop level for every peg hit. So, it's, what's interesting here, we don't actually, we're not building like a set of pinballs, it seems like. Gives nothing, paints pegs a random color. Gives $10 for every five pegs hit. I mean, it seems interesting. Two for every peg hit. At the end of next turn, you know what? I'll lock that and buy that. Equal to your shop level. I mean, my shop level's not very good. I suppose we need to get ready to, to get some higher level uh, upgrades. So maybe we do care about money. Maybe we can uh, go for a little bit of this instead maybe we lock that piggyback we'll go for this for a moment two gold for every peg hit on the next one okay just three damage for every yellow peg hit doesn't matter for us heals one for every two pegs hit it doesn't seem like it needs to hit green ones so i, I yeah it seems like that's nothing for us really Let's lock the, the penny pinball still, because we did not get our money from the piggy bank yet, and then we'll go and we will just heal ourselves. Unless we want to... God, this is interesting. Okay. Because we could just throw this out and we can actually like start to do damage to him, and then we heal up. We just heal up next time. I'm going to say sure. Okay. Okay, so, okay, if it gets stuck, it just does, it pays out, it does that damage. Uh, all right, well, we'll definitely go with this. Let's get that locked so we can actually do a little bit of damage. Gives nothing, paints, pegs, a random color. So, I guess the board building aspect is sort of us trying to set up a uniquely colored general vibe here. Gotcha. Heal for every peg hit. I mean, let's just do that for now. So, heal one for every two. Oh, no! That's <laughs> it. All right. 
Uh, we can get our shop upgrade. I'm assuming that will not automatically take... Uh, yep, yeah, does not take immediate effect. Uh, we will have to reroll or wait till next turn to get anything then. Oh! Interesting. I don't know what the minus 15 is there. Maybe there's some kind of uh, economy thing that we need to be worried about. Gives a dollar per peg hit, extra dollar for every other peg hit. Uh, sure. I mean, that, hey, that, that, that's a start. That's a start. Okay, so now we have some higher quality ones. Heals one health for every default peg hit. I'm assuming that means... I'm assuming a default peg is a, a peg that has not been colored. Ah, Coconut Pinball deals one damage for every peg hit. Splits into two after hitting six. Heals two health for every red peg hit. Irrelevant. Ooh, applies this turn and next turn. Okay, I, I'm done with you, Blunt Pinball. You are you are nothing. Can I, I can get this and I can go for it. Minus 25, is that just saying... Oh, it's just telling me the last thing I paid for. I mean, sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I was hoping that would be a little bit better there. Uh, gives a dollar for every pay. Okay, so that's the thing. When you run out, you do have to pretty much just kind of... Flub around with this. Alright. Okay, taking a bit of damage. We can just heal it up. Deals three damage for every green peg hit. See, that's what we're talking about. We kind of want to set up something like that so we could lock this go for this and we can really just try and set up a a green board like a very green board all right he has one health per peg hit overhealing deals 2x the amount of damage he has one for every bobble played in a row before this oh so it's just if we can if we can get a lot of bobbles Bobble Pinball. I can't lock them all. $4 for every peg hit. Has a 15% chance to break on every single peg. Does one for every bobble. Yeah, we just got... There's just a lot of, a lot of reading, a lot of learning we got to do here first. Um, we're going to take seven damage in one turn. I guess we... We'll heal next turn. Ooh! Oh, unless we murder. Unless we do a murder. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, so now we get to pick an item. 25% chance to teleport the pinball back to the top of the board when it reaches the bottom. Oh my god. Two damage for every broken peg on the board at the end of each turn. Dodges a hit that would otherwise kill you once. I mean, let's go for pocket watch. Let's go silly style. Okay, so now we're at the bat. You will take four damage in three turns. If proceeded with a key pinball, it gives $3 per peg when opened. Heal twice. Two damage for every blue peg hit. Heavy. I mean, I'm sure that's just going to be like a... I don't know. I kind of want money. But what are you going to do? Two health for every red peg hit. Eh, it's irrelevant. Part of me just wants to go with a little bit of money. If we see a key next time, I'm going to be, uh, peeved. Streamer bad! It's pachinko, okay? And it's even less, less aiming than... <laughs> it's even less aiming than other pachinko roguelikes. Uh, gives two for every yellow peg. Eh. So clearly, so like, the color we decided to paint the board matters quite a bit. It's painting sort of like, all right, we are going to be a little bit more of a healing-focused thing. Cheese pinball. I mean, here's the thing. I'm not going to get so much that I... Oh, 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 oh. Will overheal next turn, I don't think, right? Oh my god, I actually did. Unless, let's see... Two for every yellow peg hit, three for every blue, one for every default peg hit. Instead, gives you four dollars. What? Gives one for every default peg hit, 
instead gives $4 for every two red pegs hit. You know what? I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of farming. Let's try and take advantage of the fact that we are a... That we are a little bit of a, uh, a stall character right now. Let's try and take advantage of that. $2 per every default. Oh my god. Cat and dog. Wait a minute. Deals 2 damage per default peg hit. Instead deals 4 if the last played pinball was the cat pinball. Alright, fine. Let's do some let's do some damage. If you're gonna set me up with a wombo combo like that, I'll go for it. No point to do that. Restores all broken pegs. I, it's probably fine. Let's lock that. Simon's pinball, maybe. Maybe is a good idea. I'm finding some success with that right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Gives you 75 every time you hit one of every type of peg. Not happening, Captain. Maybe if we did the Simon pinball last time, then maybe it would. Um, what do we lock? Restores a broken peg for every five pegs hit. Maybe we lock that just in case here. Oops. Nope. Nope. Does one damage per peg hit excess damage dealt to the next enemy? I mean, that's kind of convenient. Two damage for every default peg hit breaks green ones. Uh... I don't know about that. One dollar plus one for every bobble played in a row. Maybe we just go go for that. I mean, I'm I'm pretty well off for HP. Let's see if we do this. Oh my! You can like perfect drop. And it wasn't even like amazing. And I was hoping for another bobble here. No bobble. Ten dollars for every five pegs hits. Removes paint from pegs. Deal four damage for every peg that gets its paint removed. Interesting. Eight damage in two turns. Gives $50. One less for every peg hit. Uh, that's... Okay, let's think about this. It's not bad. Holy crap. Holy crap. Got a bobble. Is there any other bobble? Varnish. Gives nothing, removes paint from anything it hits. Heals one health per peg hit. Overhealing does 2x the amount. Um, maybe we could go with that. Heals one health per peg hit overflow. We could also save it for the last for the next one. Let's lock this. We'll go for the bobble. Maybe we're gonna get lucky and get another bobble. We could go for a bobble combo. Alright, that's. We got finally the 25% and it gave us garbage. There is another bobble. Keep that locked. One gold for every hit. We might need to... Uh... <laughs> they move so fast. Uh, paints every peg hit randomly deals one damage per peg hit. I'll tell you what. Let's do it. Let's, let's do a little bit of that. We still have that healing coming up. Not bad. Not 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 too shabby. Not too shabby. We've got a little bit of a wild board over on the right. We got the green board sort of on the left side. Heals you one and gives you a dollar for every peg hit. I like that better, and then we can use the sheriff to hopefully put ourselves up towards more like full. Seems good. Okay. Oh. Good, they didn't break. What is this? Is it a grenade? Water canteen heals 25 health, heals one less for every peg hit. Interesting. Three damage for every yellow hit. I mean, I could. I'm happy to get some sheriff's action going on. Oh, well, there's a break. It's interesting. You want to balance it in a way. You're like, you want to hit a lot, but not too much. 
big damage there. Breaks all green. I mean... This might be a kill. I'll tell you what. I'm sure. It's a fair amount. Fair- Oh, you son of a gun! Where's that boomerang? Uh, one damage per peg hit applies this turn and next round. I mean, that should work, right? Just one damage per peg hit restores broken pegs, deals five damage for every one restored. Ooh. Do I save that just in case? I think I save that just in case here. Like, I think it might apply. Okay. Makes all broken pegs have a 20% chance to be restored at the end of the turn. 15% or $15 at the end of each turn if no pegs were destroyed that turn. That is pretty good. Chest pinballs don't require a key. I'll go with this. Uh, if we don't destroy anything, we get 15 bucks. That sounds great. That sounds, sounds very, very nice. Um, I do like the idea of just trying to drop this out, but I'm kind of thinking... Let's lock the bobble just in case. Unless we unless we go hard farming for a moment. Eh. No. Stop it. Okay. Still a lot of money. Like a lot of money. By the shop upgrade there. We have a small chance to get a an epic now. Blue paint can? Okay. Four damage per yellow peg hit. Instead, deal six if the last pinball played was the flower. No, one damage per peg hit. Hitting multiple of... Hitting a multiple of three pegs triples the amount. Well, I mean, sure. <laughs> Let's just do that then. Again, I'll keep this locked until... I, you know, let's paint, let's paint some blue. We can always unpaint them with some stuff later. Bobble, bobble. Oil and trouble. Damage in two turns, which means I think we'll go for the heal now. I know that there was the, uh, the lovely heals and also gives the money. I feel like that's pretty ideal. Ooh, deal damage in a turn. Okay, there we go. Plus one for every bobble played in a row. Great. Bobble combo. One bobble combo. Okay. Uh, we took the damage here. There's no other bobbles. Deal two damage on blue peg hits. Heal two health on green. I'm probably going to be fine, though, for, for that. I'll lock this, see if we can get it. Ooh, no, we'll lock that. Let's go over here so we don't accidentally... Well, that was not good at all. Accidentally break the, the blues. That'll be a little slower with it. It's tough to always tough to get used to the physics in a new Plinko Pachinko style game, you know? Like where where are we at? How bouncy are we talking? No healing here. Heavy. Heavy means it counts for two. That's terrifying. We broke stuff. That's a lot of money down the drain. Two for every peg hit. Give six for blues. Does half of the enemy's current HP if it's a multiple of three? I feel like we gotta just try, right? With that? Like, how can I just... Nope. Random paint. We don't have enough colors for that. We, we don't have the ability to fix this board right now. So we have, like, a lot of lacking damage over here. That being said... It's a decent amount of money. Good. We're hurting, obviously. But hey, we get another shop upgrade. Maybe we can get some better stuff. We'll either deal three damage or heal three health or give three dollars for every peg hit. That's just really nice. Oh, boy, the physics on it. It has a slightly different hitbox. 
Oh, wait, it does all of the same. It doesn't, it can't split. Deal 35 damage, one less per hit. Hmm. I feel like, like just break a lot of a board. You could really go for that, though. Yeah, let's, let's throw it over here, see if we can get, get lucky with a break. Okay, what was it? Was it heal? Was it heal, maybe? Two damage per peg hit splits into six after hitting eight pegs. Bronze pinball. Ah, there's a couple things I want to save. I think we go for the watermelon pinball, though. Right? Um, This is a nice section and all. This could be good, too. Fine, we'll do this and we'll... Hope a little bit. Oh, not good. I mean, we did, we did work. We did some work. But we needed to be able to fix our board. The fact that it doesn't get restored between turns is, is large. <laughs> it's very large. Uh, of course. Of course. Get the wombo combo that turn. One damage for every peg hit amount is multiplied by anything from one to six. Paints everything blue. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I think we do it. Because that will make it easier for us to get the kill here. Restore all broken pegs. Heals four for each one restored. We'll do this first. Okay. Cool. The bounce. <laughs> what's, what's so interesting is every, every hitbox of the pegs, or of the, the pinballs is different based off of the pinball. Like, the actual shape of it ma matters. <laughs> uh, okay. So we'll do this first. You know, let's do a little bit of painting. We, we, can, we can do five, right? Without much effort. Okay. Whenever you take damage, deal that amount of damage to your enemy. That sounds great for me. Two damage for every broken peg on the board at the end of the turn. One dollar for every two painted pegs hit at the board each turn. Uh, I'm going to go with this. I mean, if we got like a little bit of a more healing focus build, I think that that seems good. Restore all broken pegs. Does it have to hit them? No, right? Like, because I just, I totally would have. Okay. All right. Good deal. Does three damage and gives $3 per peg hit. Flips painted colors red equals blue and vice versa, I assume. Okay. Three damage for every red, one damage per peg hit, and gives a dollar for each peg hit. It is hit. It's Hitman. It is Hitman. I don't think I want to keep any of this, though. It's fine. It's fine. Max five. A dollar for every peg hit. So it could hit up to three right now. We could also lock it and do something else. Uh, deals two damage per peg hit. Damage is tripled if at least half are green. I don't really... I think we set that up. Maybe if we can... That seems really good if we can obviously line that up to be more beneficial for us, but uh, right now it's not so much. Removes paint for pegs. Deal 10 damage for every peg that had paint removed. Destroys all pegs on hit. Deals 100 damage for every 10 pegs hit. What if it doesn't hit 10? I just we can't work with that. Uh, unfortunately, I... I don't like any of these options. I think we hit a reroll here. I guess we should have upgraded before the reroll. Well, not necessarily, because then we can't buy it. 75 if the pinball reaches the bottom. Otherwise, explodes all pegs hit. What do you mean? If it reaches the bottom, are you saying unless it gets stuck, it does 75 damage? Fine. 
what? It didn't explain, okay, it didn't explain that it was gonna blow up in three bounces or whatever. Gotcha. That, that's a, uh, you know, kind of crucial information about, <laughs> about that. But hey, you know, it's all good. One damage for every peg hit and heals. Let's go for a little bit of this. A little bit of desire. Come on now. There we go. There we go. It's a lot of broken pegs, though. Five for every default hit. Not going to be that good for us. I'm going to unlock that. At this point, I'm unlocking it. Nope. Okay. One damage for every peg hit. I really need a rest, like a restore. Do I, do I roll for a restore? Like I can't upgrade, I can't, if I upgrade and then I re-roll, you know what? Fine, upgrade. Is there, deals damage equal to your shop level for every peg hit is kind of like nuts now. Is there any, there's no, none of these are money except for this though. Just like, whatever. Whatever. That one, I just we're stalling for a sec. Hitting 10 pegs blocks an attack from the enemy if you are to take damage next turn. Great. Maybe. I will, I will lock that in hope. Okay. Any restores? No. I don't know that we're gonna hit 10 pegs with how many are broken here. That's not looking good. Okay, but we're fine for health. We're, we're fine for health. 10% chance to explode on peg hit. If exploded, destroys all pegs hit. If unexploded, deals five for every peg hit. What? That just seems not great, especially That'll be the one that just bounces right back up to the top, won't it? Well. Is there like a restore? Heals three health for every peg hit. Over healing deals 2x the amount. Uh, heals two damage per default peg hit. Heals two health per painted peg hit. I mean, it's all nice and all, but... I need to restore. I really, it's getting so expensive. It's $1 plus one for every other wealthy domino pinball played this game. Yikes, looking bad. I just want to, I just want to restore, man. If I get a restore, I can go uh, Grave Pinball into restore and probably get a crazy Wombo combo going. All right. I'm just going to throw something out at this point. Just one damage doubled for every peg that this breaks. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock the grave pinball until I have a way to fix it. Okay, I'm not gonna break any. I'll break one. Oh, <laughs> stupid. Okay, man. I mean, we're doing just fine. Is the thing. Like, it doesn't seem like we would be or should be or could be, but we are doing just fine. Dear God, give me a regen. I don't have a yellow peg. One of these points, you're going to have to give me regen, though, right? Like, you're going to have to give me regen? Oh, each watermelon piece has its own uh, chance there. Makes all pegs take twice the amount of hits to be destroyed. Deals three damage at the end of the turn. I feel like hammer is the way to go, I guess. Chance for them to... Oh, it goes away! What? It goes away! Rude! Hitting eight pegs blocks an attack from the enemy if you are to take damage next turn. 
I will get that, but hopefully we can fix something before that happens. Third cut damage, less per peg hit. I mean, to be fair, it should be pretty easy to not hit too many. I can't go any further over there. Not bad. Joe, come on. Of course, that's the, of course that's the one. It goes on back up. Shop reroll does change each time there. Four gold per packet. I mean, no, I need to restore. Do I have any chance to restore? Because then we can go for the shield pinball next turn. I want to make sure I hit eight pegs, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Yeah, we're just not really getting lucky with that. I can't really do more. need to be pushing it a little bit more to the left. It's very bouncy. Oh, so many are restored, though. Okay, so the hammer's actually doing a lot of work. Each one individually has its own 20% chance. Okay, good. I thought that that might not be the case. I'll save that for next time. That being said, am I going to hit the amount? I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's eight. Yeah, we're good. Huge. If you have a lot of money, you could probably just keep re-rolling until you get the block. A farm. Uh, great. Not great. You know, it's two out for every painted peg. We don't actually have as many painted ones because the broken ones come back unpainted. Like, we can be a little bit more loose. Sure. Yeah, with how much we're willing to break. One damage for every... Or wait, deals one damage plus one for every animal pinball played. I've played a lot of animal pinballs, haven't I? We're going to take 10 damage in one turn. That's not that big of a deal. Don't particularly care. Oh, it says up at the top how many you've hit, too. That's convenient. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> not bad at all. Uh, Maybe I'm fine with Wrecking Ball. I mean, we got to hit a lot to make it happen, but maybe I'm fine with it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, if they're going to come back anyways, like, we don't want them to break, but they seem pretty pretty likely to come back. Uh, gives two gold and heals. I kind of like that mix there for us right now. Great. <laughs> Am I missing? I'm not missing that much. I don't really feel like locking any of this. Just wanted to test out a different throw, see how it goes. It's fine. Man, I can't, I absolutely cannot wait for the pachinko back seating. Oh my god. It exists. I promise you that. Oh my god. I can't wait to see how. <laughs> it's always a fun time <laughs> seeing how seriously some people will take like their pachinko. Especially with the the rise of Peggle, so many people are, have been like, "I'm I'm actually a Peggle professional." It's like, all right, I mean that's fine. I don't want to break this turn because I want to save the shield pinball. We need to make sure we hit ten. So I kind of want to do something that is not very likely to break stuff. So I'm gonna avoid the bomb and the bowling ball. We'll meet in the middle on this one. Just kind of do something that I feel like won't hit fives. Thank you. Good. Am I missing health? I'm not missing health right now, so I don't think I need to save any. I think I think I don't want to save any of these. We have so much money. Is, is it like 200 for the upgrade? Eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're good. 
I can't remember if it does damage or not. So I don't know if I care about any of that. Yeah. Uh, if this hits at least 10 pegs, deal 200 damage. Deals 200, does 20 less for every colored peg hit. Interesting. I guess we can try that out. We don't have very many. So doing 20 less, uh, well, still, still a lot. One damage, double for every red peg hit, irrelevant. Deals two health or deals two damage changes each time a peg is hit. All right. Well, this is going to do theoretically a lot of overheal. Whip, 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 whip. Not bad. Not bad. We're almost there. Parrot Pinball deals three damage per red. I mean, hit 10, but not any blues or greens. We hit 10. <gasps> Let's go! Okay, I mean, that's just the first run there. You defeated all of the enemies and won in Caves 1. It's still very much in development. If you wish to follow along, maybe we can give help feedback. So join the Discord. Uh, let's head back here, though. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, we unlocked all of these different ones here. What is going on? What is this? Is this just out of curiosity? It's the Christmas level. Oh, that's not There's a freaking Christmas board. Who would have freaking thought? Desert? You know, I for one, I'm here for it. <laughs> like, why not? There's, okay, jellyfish. I'm, I'm curious about something. I just want to drop a ball. Uh, see where we're at. I've, we probably had like 20 or something, or 200 or something. Probably could have maybe started to get some of the rare things. Uh, but yeah, going in on like a different kind of a build would be really, really neat. This game's cool. This game is very, very, very cool. I, 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 I like it a lot. Let's see. Let's go to Christmas. Oh, it's a, it is a different board too, right? Like, is this a different layout? So, okay. So the caves have a caves layout. Or is it slightly different? Oh, it's different every time, no matter what? Ah, so the caves probably have like a set of designated layouts that can be cave layouts. Maybe. Maybe not. Interesting. You take four damage three turns. Uh, yeah, it's just a very, very neat game here. It's, it's interesting, like I said, to see truly how all of these pachinko roguelikes are doing it completely differently. I, the, the three I'm mentioning, if you're not aware, are, are Peglin, Plinko Panic, and uh, Round Guard, which are all wildly, wildly different takes on something that you would think would be too niche to, to really be done that differently. Uh, but this very much has that emphasis on uh, kind of the persistence of the board and trying to gauge where you're at right now, what kind of passives do you have. Uh, I think that's quite, quite neat, quite interesting. Uh, there's no persistence of a a kind of like deck that you're building, which is um, a lot to get used to. It's not like you're you're not making a deck of things that you will be reliably getting. I would go as far as to say it'd be very fun to see a draft mode added, though, where I don't know how I don't know how you'd be able to go through it. But, like, it'd be fun to see that, like, a kind of drafting mode, too, because there's a lot here. Like, imagine if you did have a cohesive build. Like, you were able to draft what you put into the shop. Like, you still... It still all had the rarities, the sort of, like, auto chessy style uh, shop system to it. But you, you know, you kind of drafted out in the beginning what, what would be in each tier. Like, you pick what will be in, uh, you know, the common, the the uncommon rare etc etc i think it would break a lot of things obviously i think it'd have to be uh looked at in a different way for sure but i think that if you're just like you go through you start up a run it's like you know here you go pick a pick a, a common and it has like three and you pick one common and then pick another common between three something like that i think that could be really fun it's an interesting idea i, I I don't know. But very cool, very unique, very different. Highly recommended. You check it out if it looked interesting to you. Uh, link at the top description for Plinko Panic. It is in early access still. It came out in December. As mentioned, it was a, um, a game jam game. Uh, it came out quite a while ago. Oh, sorry. When I tab out, it does a funny thing when I have it in full screen. Uh, but no, it's still 
good. It's still going. Alas. Check it out. Link in the top description. My name is Retro Mage. Covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. This has been Plink O Panic. Uh, very fun. Very cool. The price is what I was trying to look at. It's not coming up right now, but I know it's not that bad. It's it's on the cheaper side. It is five bucks. It is without a doubt the cheapest of the roguelike uh, <laughs> pachinko games. So there you go. It is on sale right now for five five bucks and fifty cents. Normally seven bucks. Uh, it seems like it's got a lot of different ways you can play through it here. I can't speak to the deep replayability of it, but hey, that price is easier to recommend than twenty bucks. I will say it, it's easier to recommend it at that price. Uh, but check it out. Link in the top description. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.